Gary Steele, lecturer at Lincoln University, studies people in extreme environments including the polar regions. He talks about why this research is important, how people are selected, what it feels like to be in Antarctica, and why he loves Antarctica so much. So what I do is I tend to study people who go down to the ice. My main area of research is human adaptation to extreme and unusual environments. Uh, that includes places like space, um, combat zones, submarines, but for the most part I focus on uh, polar regions and more specifically Antarctica. Uh, this work is taking me down through the Ross Sea into a rather large variety of places, but also to the Antarctic Peninsula and with my Arctic work up to uh, the Canadian High Arctic. The people that I study um, go anywhere from a few days. The scientists are down there on a short-term sort of project. They can be down there as, as few as four or five days. But normally the scientists are down there for anywhere from three weeks to three months. And the support people that I study um, are there for usually a year. Although more generally, you can get up to two years in the Antarctic, depending which program you're in. So what you're working with are people who are very good at their jobs, um, often, often uh, very good at um, being social. That's not necessarily being party animals, just basically being able to handle social interactions um, because they have to be. And also because um, well, they're also selected for things like emotional stability. You don't want people down there who go up and down a lot and unexplained, or unexplained types of uh, variations like that. Frankly, there's far fewer incidences of uh, psychological disorders or stressful reactions or anything like that than there are in the normal population. 